Thank you for purchasing the MGC pump by Gas Clip Technologies. Please note that every single unit is individually QC'd in-house before shipment to you. Upon opening the box, you will notice a certificate of calibration, a quick start guide, AC adapter, one MGC pump. If you take the bottom cutout out, you will also notice that we have a bag of individual filters for spares and a steel particulate stone to keep dust and debris out of the hose. And 10 feet of sampling hose. The hose itself will attach to the top of the monitor on the inlet port. And the steel stone will attach to the other end of the hose. That way when you use the monitor you put the hose down into a confined space. This keeps dust and debris from getting up into the hose and monitor itself. To turn the monitor on, simply press the power button. You will hear audible alarm and the screen will come to life. At this phase, this is what we call chasing zeros. It takes roughly 45 seconds for the monitor to settle in and be ready to use. Also notice that we do have a pump block feature built into the pump. To test this, all you have to do is place your finger over the opening and the monitor will go into alarm. To remove the alarm, all you will have to do is press the power button. What that allows you to do, if any water is brought up into the hose, it will automatically stop the pump motor, keeping the water from going into the pump and destroying the monitor itself. To bump test and calibrate your MGC pump monitors, we also have an MGC dock station. Once you open the dock lid, you will see two thumb screws here at the bottom. Remove those and set them to the side. Upon opening the lower door, you will notice that you have a bubble wrap bag. Go ahead and remove this and you can open it up. In the bag you will have a USB flash drive, some extra thumb screws, and some exhaust ports. The exhaust ports are located on the side of the docking station. If you clip these on it will allow you to hook a hose up and you can vent that out of a window if you so choose. Open the bag and remove the USB thumb drive. In the bottom here you will notice that there is a USB port. All you have to do is plug the thumb drive in. This is a wall adapter for electrical. This, mon this docking station comes with a built-in internal rechargeable battery. It will be ready to go without the electrical cord upon shipment. One bottle of calibration gas is screwed onto the regulator. And the strap secures the bottle. Go ahead and close the lid and you will notice here that we have a dial that gives you how much gas is left in the bottle itself. To bump test your 4 gas MGC pump monitor, all you have to do is slide it head down into the bay and press down securing it underneath the latch. This docking station will bump test anywhere from 1 to 4 monitors at the same time. To perform a bump test, all you have to do is press the red button which corresponds with the bump test. You will hear one beep, that's because there's one monitor in the bay. If there were four monitors, you would hear four beeps. Notice that these lights turn red because there are no monitors in the bays themselves. Now gas is being applied to bay one since that is the one with the monitor in it. If there were four monitors, gas would be applied to all four bays. 
This light has already turned green. Now this is in what we call a purge function. This dock is actually applying fresh air to the monitor to get the sensor readings back down close to zero. As soon as this light turns green, the monitors will be ready for use. Light is green. Press down on the handle and remove the monitor. It is now ready to use. To perform a calibration test, place the monitor head down in the docking station and secure underneath the clip. Press the green button for calibration and it will perform the test just like the bump test. However, please note that calibration takes about a minute and a half to do regardless if you have one or four monitors in the docking station at the same time. The light is green, the monitor has been successfully calibrated, and is now ready for field use.